Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Lacey, our uh, HVAC units are getting a workout. They're like, yes. turn on the heat, turn, turn it, it off, go right. back up to yeah. AC. Exactly. We're it's all confused. From one extreme to the other. It affects us. It affects, yes, our homes, our vehicles. It's hard on everything this time of year when we don't just level things out. One thing we need across Oklahoma is a couple of storm systems with heavy rain, and that is exactly what we've been tracking as we head into the start of next week. As we go into your weekend, it's going to be summertime. The ACs will be working. We're talking 90s across many locations in Oklahoma, closing in on record highs. And just remember, as you're out and about, the counties under burn bans continue to increase and grow. I know we had rain in Oklahoma County last weekend, and that dropped the burn ban for just a little bit. It's definitely been added back because of where we're headed. So here comes the next storm. We're seeing a cold front that's been sweeping through to the north. That will not impact Oklahoma, but it will help in picking up the wind today. Our next wind maker is off the coast of the northwest, and winter storm warnings are being posted in the Rockies as that thing approaches. It's got a lot of moisture with it. Currently on our Pike Pass Skycam Network live from Guthrie, it's 46 degrees. Skies are clear. We're in the 50s and low 60s to the north, some low 40s in southern Oklahoma. It is chilly. Winds are at about 5, 15, some gusts to 20. Winds will gust out of the south, southwest 25 to 30 later today as temperatures climb into the upper 70s at noon, 87 later today. Now normal is 71. Our record is in the 90s today. Day. We're not going to get there in Oklahoma City. That record's safe, but hey, upper 70s and 90s in western Oklahoma is what we're expecting. So let me show you the wind. Winds pick up today. We'll see gusts 15 to 30 out of the south and southwest. Heading into the day tomorrow, the next storm starts to approach from the northwest. That really starts to ramp up the wind being pulled up into it. Gusts 15 to 30. And then by Sunday, that south wind could blow, especially in the evening hours, 25 to 45 miles per hour. That would be horrible conditions if a wildfire were to get started. Tonight, about a 15 to 30 mile an hour wind. Temperatures in the 40s in western Oklahoma, 60s across the central portions of the state. That's a warm night for late October. Tomorrow afternoon, here's your Saturday. Sunny, windy, approaching the record high, which is 87 degrees. I think that's at least tied, if not broken tomorrow. And then into your Sunday, mid 80s on the way. And then let's talk about the rainmaker. What's going to happen is this wave coming out of the Pacific Northwest, the one out over the Pacific, and also this tropical system over Mexico all merge into one wave that comes across the southern plains, and that just pumps in the moisture from the Pacific, which gives us that recipe for some heavy rain, which we need. So here's the timing of it. We warm it up over the weekend. Here comes the trough. It starts to build. We get that southwesterly flow of the jet stream. Rain moves in Sunday night into Monday morning, Monday afternoon some strong, maybe even severe storms as the cold front presses in. And as this thing scoots on by, it's slow moving and we get wraparound precip lingering into the day on Tuesday with yet another wave on Friday of next week. So zooming in closer and looking at future radar, heavy rain and storms Monday morning. Now this will still change some, but right now this is kind of the current projection. We're still several days away. Rain and storms continue into the afternoon. There's enough instability. Some of these could crank out some wind and hail. And then on Monday night into Tuesday, another wave develops from the southwest. And oh, by the way, the way this thing's spinning and coming out over Texas could pull in cold enough air to get a little snow mixing in out in our panhandle. Yes, turning that cold in the panhandle. The rest of the state, it is rain, and it's a good thing, and it's looking good as we head into your Monday and Tuesday. We'll keep you updated through the weekend as this continues to evolve and shift, but as of right now, much of Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri gets a soaking shower or two and even some thunderstorms out of the system. Monday, I think the chance is 100% that this scoots on by. There will be the opportunity starting kind of midday that these storms start to produce some wind and some hail. Not high-end severe weather, but there will be that chance for some intense storms. As we head into your Tuesday, still rain around. A couple of rounds of rain and storms move by. And when you add it all up, easily a half of an inch, maybe up to an inch of rain for widespread areas. And some data suggests one to three locally with some flooding possible in the southeast. So it's a good system. Temperatures drop through the day Monday with the cold front. We'll start in the 70s, end in the 50s. Rain moves out. It's chilly on Wednesday with another round possible by Friday of next week. It's looking good, guys.